Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is Bootstrap. And uh, first, I wanted to start by saying that I hope everybody had a happy and safe holiday uh, uh, weekend or holiday season. Uh, and I hope you and your family enjoyed each other's company and uh, had a great time. And of course, if you don't celebrate the holidays, I uh, hope you had a great weekend uh, having a long weekend because of the holidays. Uh, but the the reason for my video today uh, was to, um, of course, if everybody knows that there is a, a Steam Winter Sale going on. And for newer PC gamers, it can be a little bit overwhelming because there are thousands of choices. And it's really kind of easy, oh nice, uh, to uh, spend a lot more money than you intended to. And uh, even worse than that end up with games uh, that fill up your library that you just aren't going to end up playing because you bought them as an impulse buy. Uh, so I wanted to give you guys a couple of tips on uh, maximizing the, uh, the Steam sale and uh, getting games that uh, you're really going to enjoy. Um, first things first, set up your Steam wallet and uh, set your budget. Uh, whatever that may be i myself have bought nine games here over the last few days um, and it i only spent thirty dollars uh, now obviously some of these were older titles uh, some of them were only a couple of years old though uh, and i got them for as le little as five bucks and of course bought some indie games that were under a dollar uh, and some older Star Wars games uh, that I hadn't gotten a chance to play because um, I just wasn't into PC gaming at the time. Uh, things like Star Wars, the uh, uh, Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2, those games were like three bucks a piece. Uh, so, you know, some old classics uh, that I hadn't had a chance to play that I want to go ahead and get a chance to play uh, now that, of course, I am uh, doing PC gaming uh, exclusively. Uh, now, First, yes, set up your Steam wallet, um, put away that money, and, uh, you know, that's going to be your way of deciding, hey, that's as much money I'm going to spend, I'm not going to spend any more, uh, you know, that makes you, uh, gives you your budget, you don't have to worry about uh, overextending, buy, spending more money than you wanted to, uh, and then, re you know, ultimately regretting your, your purchases, because you don't want to, yeah. you definitely don't want to do that. Um Secondly, instead of uh, just impulse buying as you go through the list of games, as I said, there are thousands of them. Uh, so instead of just uh, randomly buying them as you go along, uh, start creating a wish list. Uh, when you go to the um, uh, pages, to the uh, uh, store pages, um, there is a little button uh, uh, that'll be, you know, say wish list uh, that will allow you to add the games to your wish list, uh, which you can then access uh, uh, through the main menus. And um, the big advantage of that is instead of uh, you randomly spending money uh, on games and then not being sure if you want them or not, uh, you'll actually be spending the money uh, on games that you are certain that you want because they're on your wish list and you've prioritized them uh, so you can decide what games you do and do not need as you go through the list and, and it really helps uh, certainly helps me in deciding what it is that I that I really want and which ones I can do without uh, like I said the priority is to buy games you're actually gonna play if you're not gonna play them uh, they're not really going to do you much good, so it really does help um, to to kind of do that because you you get a good idea of what you want. Uh, you end up buying what you need and not what you don't need. So you, again, the main goal is buying games you're actually going to play. That's the whole point. Um, but you know that's that's basically the biggest thing. I mean, I, I, you know, it's really easy to end up spending a whole lot more money than you need to. And end up with games you're not going to end up playing, which uh, which really sucks because it's a double whammy. Uh, you spent your cash and you didn't even get anything out of it. So, uh, or at least you got something out of it, but you know it's not doing you any good if you're not playing it. So, uh, you know, definitely. Ooh, end of the world. Got to turn around. Uh, but uh, that is a, a a tip that I can give to newer PC gamers, to guys who are uh, you know kind of a little bit overwhelmed by the all the sales and. And, uh, you know, just uh, so many choices. 
Um, of course, it did, Steam did make it a little easier for uh, folks because now instead of worrying about flash sales and uh, buying a game and then seeing it drop in price uh, during the, the period of the sale, uh, that doesn't happen anymore. Pretty much whatever price the game's at, that's the price you're going to pay for the game uh, regardless of when you buy it during the sale. So that's kind of good you, you know some people don't like it some people I, th I, th I like it I don't have to worry about buying a game and then kind of seeing that game go back on sale uh, within a couple of days after I bought it and, and you know then being kind of pissed that I could have saved some additional money but, you know granted sometimes it's not that much of a difference it's a few dollars but it's still annoying uh, but now the prices stay set, uh, whatever the price is, it's not going to change. Uh, so you're pretty much, uh, you know, if you like the game, buy the game. You don't have to worry about it uh, dropping in price a few days after you purchased it. So that that's uh, that's something that gives you as a consumer uh, certainly is a good thing. Uh, f as far as I'm concerned, not having to worry about, uh, uh, you know, constantly following the Steam page and constantly checking to see if there is, uh, you know, a sale that you might have missed uh, or whatever have you. Um, but I hope this kind of helps some of you guys that were uh, a little bit overwhelmed by the sales process. And, and uh, you know, again, if you're new to PC gaming, it, I made a video about this before. It's really easy to uh, blow your budget buying things you don't need. Uh, and, of course, with PC gaming, when you have so many choices... Uh, you have indie developers, you have AAA titles. It's really nice to kind of take your time, uh, figure out what it is that you want, and then, uh, you know, not only get it, get what you want, but get it for cheap and, and really enjoy the experience that PC gaming provides. There's a ton of indie titles that are on sale. I would definitely uh, say that you guys should check those out because uh, you'll find some absolute gems uh, that you know maybe nobody's really given any uh, uh, any uh, kind of oh a big big bear uh, uh, given any kind of run to or or any kind of marketing to but trust me they're awesome games and uh, you you do want to give them a try and uh, actually I was making a cheap games uh, series I need to get back to that and maybe I will include oh shit I will include. Uh, some of those uh, f that I purchased recently for you guys so you guys will have uh, some of those because again the sale is not only on AAA titles there's also a lot of really cool uh, indie games that you, sh you guys should check out it's, like I said especially if you're new to PC gaming oh shit this guy is kicking my ass yeah if you guys are wondering I am level 1 because I lost all my uh Witcher saves after an update, which, yeah, nice 30 hours lost there. But but again, back to the focus of the video. Um, so take advantage of the Steam sale, buy some great games, um, and um, don't blow your you know blow your budget in the process, and uh, you'll have yourself a good time. So hope this video helps some of you guys that were kind of uh, you know figuring out how to best attack the steam sale and how to best uh, uh you know take advantage of some of the uh great deals that are out there on the game so uh with that said i'm going to hopefully murder this bear for you guys or it will stop my ass we'll see what happens uh here we go here we go oh and my sword's almost broken and uh i'm almost dead let's see here Eat some dried fruit. It's good for you. Hey. Almost, guys. We're almost there. Haha. -ha. All right. Ed's nothing like some bear fat to end the video. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take advantage of the Steam sale. Go ahead and get yourself some awesome games. And I hope everybody has a great New Year as well. Bootstrap.